What up nerds? I'm Jay Sharif and today I'm going to show you how to activate your DJI Action 2. I had a lot of problems with activation and this video will show you how I solved those problems. I also had a lot of issues trying to wirelessly connect my phone to my camera and I'm going to help you fix those problems too. By the way, I've got a separate video about how to update the firmware on your DJI Action 2. Link is in the description. Now, I've had a lot of trouble activating my DJI Action 2. That's the reason I've made this video. I use an Android phone, and the normal way to activate your DJI devices is as follows. Firstly, make sure Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are both switched on in your phone settings. Then go into your DJI Mimo app. Next, turn on the DJI device by pressing the power button and your phone should automatically find your DJI device. This process worked just fine for all my DJI devices, but not for my DJI Action 2. No matter what I tried, it didn't work. And the reason for that is that you first need to upgrade to the latest version of the DJI Mimo app. Unfortunately, you can't do that via the Google Play Store. DJI and Google seem to have had some dispute or issue, so the latest version of Mimo is only available direct from DJI. Here's how to install it. First things first, if you already have it on your phone, then you actually have to delete the DJI Mimo app from your phone then you need to visit this website. The QR code for this site is printed inside the box that the DJI Action came in. I've also put the link in the description of this video just to make things easy for you. Whichever method you use, your phone browser should end up at this page and you need to click on the link to download the APK file. You might get warnings from your phone that this link is not safe. Don't worry about it. As long as you are downloading the Mimo app directly from the DJI website, the link should be perfectly safe. Choose to continue and the file for the app will download to your phone. Once it's downloaded, choose install. And once it's installed, choose open. At this point, you should log in to your DJI account. If you don't have a DJI account already, then just visit dji.com and create one. Then head back into the DJI Mimo app on your phone. Tap the icon on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Now enter your DJI account details that you just created and log in. And finally, we're ready to activate the DJI Action 2. Push the power button on the top of your DJI Action 2. On your phone, make sure you have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi enabled. Now, go back to your DJI Mimo app. If you followed this process correctly, there should be a message at the top of the home page saying that your phone has detected the DJI Action 2. If you don't see a message, then click the camera icon at the top left of the Mimo homepage. The app should now say it has detected the DJI Action 2. Tap where it says connect. And now it's just a matter of following the instructions on screen. Just to make sure you are activating the correct camera, you will be shown the same four digit code on both the phone screen and your camera screen. If you've got the vlogging module attached, then the code will show on that as well. However, you need to tap accept on the camera module. In other words, you need to click accept on the rear screen of your DJI Action 2. Once the Action 2 has been activated, you will be asked if you want to buy DJI Care. That's an optional insurance policy. If you genuinely intend to use your camera for sports, then it's worth considering. Otherwise, tap the skip option in the top right hand corner. And that's it. Your DJI Action 2 is now activated. Even after I did all this, I still had a problem. 
Although my camera was now activated, it was set to Chinese menus. However, changing the language is very easy. Firstly, swipe your finger downwards on the rear screen of the camera. Tap the bottom right icon for settings. That's the one that looks like a hexagon with a hole. Now scroll down until you reach the globe icon. Tap the globe and you'll be presented with a list of languages. Tap on English and your camera menus will switch over to the English language. One last piece of advice for you now. If your Mimo app is struggling to connect to the camera, then it might be worth adjusting the wireless settings. As before, swipe your finger downwards on the rear screen of the camera. Tap the bottom right icon for settings. Now, scroll down until you reach the wireless connection option and tap on it. Now tap on Wi-Fi frequency. You'll see two choices. Tap to select 2.4 gigahertz. This should solve all the connection problems between your phone and your camera. As I said before, I've made a separate video about updating your firmware. Link is in the description. That's all for today. I'll be back with another video very soon. Later, nerds.